Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Obviously, as you guys can see, we're doing another basketball cards unboxing video. For those of you who follow my channel, you guys have definitely seen me unboxing all kinds of different Panini basketball boxes like the Recon Hobby Box or the Prism Blaster Box or the Donruss Optic Blaster Boxes. I've never unboxed the Donruss Series Blaster Box on the channel before. The reason why I got this box is because we're doing Secret Center at work and one of my colleagues got me this as a Christmas gift. So I would definitely want to see what I could get in this. Never unboxed these before, so let's check it out. First off, this is the Panini 2021-22 to Donruss Basketball Blaster Box. I didn't expect 88 cards in the box, which is a lot from blaster boxes because I know the Prism one usually adds up to like 20-something cards, that's it. So that's pretty cool. That's a good amount of cards. This is probably going to be a longer kind of video. They got Luca up front. And it says, look for autographs and signature series. And of course, it's by Panini. From the side here, we could see what you can technically get from this box. There are numbered cards and different kind of rated rookie hollow and stuff. I actually want to check it out. And it also says, look for blaster exclusive orange laser and purple laser parallels, which I have no clue what that means. Seems like there's eight cards per box and there's 11 packs. Without going further, let's get right into it. This definitely felt way better than the usual unboxing video because that's a crap ton of packs in one box. Let's actually start with the first pack and see what we can get. I would actually laugh if any sort of autograph or signature comes out of this because I'm never those kind who gets that kind of luck, you know? First impression, the second I hold these, these are not as nice as the Prism cards or the Donruss Optic cards or Select or any sort of series I open. They felt very thin and light. I mean, it is a good printing photo, but I would say the quality is definitely like a, on the lower side for the Panini basketball cards. First off, we got a person who I have no clue who he is. And these gold letters down at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see with that reflection. Michael Porter Jr. Let's go through all the base card and see what we get here. Okay, base card. Ooh, Wendell Carter Jr. Also base card, base card. Cole Anthony, but not rookie for that year. Base card two, base card. All right, we got Kendrick Nunn at Lakers. For, is that the orange parallel? I think that's what it meant by orange parallel. So let's put it aside here. I think each pack, there must be something special in there. So the first pack, we got an orange parallel. Second pack, Jordan base card, base card, base card, base card. Oh, I saw it. It's another orange parallel. Base card base card oh two cards another base card but this is a rated rookie card it's jeremiah robinson i don't know how to pronounce his name but let's put it aside this is the second orange parallel for the night rudy gobert is that how you pronounce it next pack i'm not sure the value on these donruss cards but why don't you guys comment down below and let me know if I score anything good because I absolutely have no clue. Devin Vessel. So as you guys can see, I kind of have to tilt the card to really read the name. Russell Westbrook. Pretty cool. No clue who this is. Another base card here. Another base card here. Another base card here. Another rated rookie card. Scotty Lewis. And then this is another orange parallel. Talon Horton Tucker. THT. M my friend Francisco's favorite card. Alright, let's jump to another pack here. It seems like each pack gave me an orange parallel, so... 
I don't really think it's that exclusive, you know? It seems like, ooh, what is this? This back looks pretty hot. Fire. Is this gonna be something special? Let's see. We got Steph Curry. Another base card here of Andrew Wiggins. Another base card. Base card, another THT, but the non-parallel one. Another base card. Base card of Rudy Gorbert, which I had the orange parallel too of this card. This is a pretty nice card, I would say. It looks a bit different, but not really. It's just a rated rookie card of Joe. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but let's see here. This is the special card. It had a special back. Joshua Primo. Was he a rookie that year? I'm not really sure no more. I'm getting so confused. But this card definitely had a different feel to it. It looks like an insert card of Joshua Primo. It's first great expectations and the back has his face printed too with the description which i would say this is a pretty cool insert card from the donruss series let's keep going there's still so many packs to go right here base card base card base card that's Draymond Green, by the way. Base card. Base card. Bam out of Bayo. There's so many card of him in my collection already. Joe Harris base card. Ooh. That's also an orange parallel, but I like how the Donra series, it, it, it's kind of different to the other series. All their players has like different positions in the photo, so it makes it look different. This is Jay Crowder from the Suns. Pretty cool card. Still no numbered card yet though, guys. I hope I could get at least like one numbered card or an autograph, and then this box will be pretty cool actually. But of course, Unlike some of the blaster boxes, this clearly doesn't state that it guarantees like an autograph or whatever in a box, you know, so it's kind of shooting in the dark. Another base card right here. Base card. Jalen Brunson base card. Anthony Davis. Francisco, I know you want this. And then another base card. Another base card. Another base card. But this is a rated rookie card of Herbert Jones. It looks like we got another expectations insert card. This time we got Quentin Grimes from New York Knicks. Is he a rookie for that year? I'm not sure. I really like this insert card actually. It looks pretty cool. All right, let's keep going, guys. Feel free to comment down below and let me know how you feel about these Donruss cards. Just me personally, I'm not a big fan. I like the prism quality of the card, like, and the hollow, it just looks way nicer, or like the select. I would definitely say selects are, are good, and also the new illusions, I like it too. RJ, is it RJ? No, PJ Tucker. As I said, this gold lettering makes it so hard to read. Desmond Bar Bane? Desmond Bane? Not sure how to pronounce it. Oh, some familiar face right here. We got Peyton from Celtics. And then we got Tyler Hero from Miami Heat. So now I'm actually getting players that I know. Kevin Love from Kevin Lear. Wow, it's all in the same pack. That's crazy. Jordan Clarkson from the Jazz. And then RJ Hampton base card. This one, I gotta say, is fire. LaMelo Ball, complete players. Is this another insert card? Ornets. It's definitely another insert card. Number two. Wow, they printed this early too in the series. But damn, I would definitely sleeve this one. It looks very nice. I like it. 
So I guess Donruss does have different sort of inserts too. When I saw the two great expectation card, I was expecting all of them to be like that, you know? Ooh, Jason Tatum. Definitely a card that Jackson at work will like too. At work, I got a bunch of guys who are my friends and they always discuss about basketball. So I'm just gonna keep throwing their names out there. These are cards that they would like. So Jason Tatum, definitely a good one. And then we got Kendrick Nunn again, base card. Another base card, base card, base card, base card. All right, we got Josh Giddy, rated rookie. This is a good card to have, I would say, because Josh Giddy is playing pretty well. And then we got a franchise features insert card of Damien. Is it Damien or Damien? Yeah, Lillard. Pretty cool card. So they do have a bunch of different inserts. And this one is horizontal, which is something new. Three more to go. Base card. Base card. Base card. D'Aaron Fox. Another base card. Oh, Marcus Smart. Which in 2K23, when I play the game, I call it Marcus Dumb. But another orange parallel. PJ Washington Jr. I have a bad feeling about this box. I don't think I'm going to post something crazy. Another base card. Base card. Base card. Base card. Base card. Base card. Rated rookie. Josh Christopher. Is he playing good? I'm not even sure. All right, we got a uh, orange parallel Karis Levert in the Pacers. Nothing special is coming out of this box, but whatever. It's the first Donruss box I've ever received. So it's cool to open this, you know, get to see what kind of card quality they have in the box. Why is it? Why is he wearing a Celtics jersey for but it shows kings. That's the crazy part to me. Um, but it happens a lot, you know. Base card. Base card. Base card. All right. At least we end it with something special. It's an orange parallel rated rookie card. So all the other rated rookie card I got are just base. But at least we got an orange parallel rated rookie card, which is pretty cool. But no number card at all. Because if it's numbered, it would have shown a number at the back. This is basically it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like my video, please smash that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed and you want to see more basketball cards unboxing video, definitely hit the subscribe button and comment down below and let me know which series to get so I could do more unboxing video for you guys. But that's it. Peace.